Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. We have a helicopter event. It did not take long. In our first week, so let's get the hell out of here. Good thing we have this car. So it makes this little getaway a little bit easier. Usually we don't have a car for the first helicopter event. We are currently at... Are we at one week? Just over one week. Eight days survived so far. First helicopter event. Uh, we're just going to head on down the road here. I was planning on doing some work at the gas station, a new base, in between episodes, but the helicopter kind of forced our hand here to come back. And, oh my god, I am quite hungry. I don't have any food with me. I know there are some warehouses and I think a camp out here. Uh, possibly even up that road, but given the amount of zombies that we are encountering here... I'm a little hesitant to get out of the car right now. Maybe we should just drive around for a bit. The event did start while I was sleeping. So we're probably already two or three hours into uh, this episode. Not sure how much longer it will go for. We have in the past tracked how long these helicopter events last. They can last up for up to half a day, or as little as just two hours. Oh man, that was a little bit fast for that corner. So I would think that by mid-afternoon, probably by 3 p.m., 4 p.m., this event should be over. It means we got about at least three or four hours to kill. Now the campsite I'm thinking about, uh, or not really a campsite, I think it's out here, along that dirt road. Uh, the helicopter is passing by right now. Maybe we should take the time to just run down there and see if we can find any food. So I think there is a kitchen. Uh, what can we drop off here that we don't need? So we're carrying a little bit of extra weight. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, no, let it go. Oh snap. That's a horde. That is a horde. Jeez. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to take another road to get back, most likely. Oh, crap. The road's blocked up here. Uh, I'm going to have to go out on the field. That van, though, looks like it's in pretty good condition. Hopefully we don't blow a tire here. Going off road in the station wagon. Okay, there we go. So let's remember that that car is there. Here's the warehouses. I don't think we'll find any food here. But let's uh, let's take a look. Maybe we'll get lucky and find something. Even just other stuff of use in here. Maybe an axe. That would be nice. We've gotta do this fast though. Because that large horde is not very far away. Uh, let's go ahead and get this equipped. Secondary, we have the helicopter coming back already. Ooh, this is sketchy. Alright, let's just quickly check crates. Uh, another saw, we have one. Some seeds. Oh, I don't like that helicopter being so close. There's gotta be an axe in here though, or even a sledge. Wouldn't that be nice? Wire. We'll come back and pick up other stuff. Ooh, a trowel. I do need that. I wanna make sure I have that. That is an important piece. Wow, that was a lot of zombies. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything here. No. No horde of zombies coming. So for the time being we're okay. We are very hungry though. I'm also carrying a, a fairly heavy load. I'm not sure what else I can drop off here. Oh, I guess I have some books in my backpack. Oh yeah, there's some stuff here that we 
never dropped off at uh, the gas station. Didn't have time. So let's put our shotgun in. No, uh, no, that's full. Okay, I gotta drop stuff all on the seat then. Um, that's full. Jeez, there's a lot of stuff here I didn't take in. I can't drop anything off. I was planning on taking most of the stuff in. Oh, here come the zombies now. Planning on taking most of it in this morning, but of course we did not have time. Okay, we're gonna continue. A uh, helicopter has passed by. We'll see if it comes back one more time. It is 2.30, so I think we're, we must be close to being completed. Sometimes there's other wrecked cars on this road. So be careful not to go too fast. We can probably find some more homes though, once we connect up with the highway at the end of this road. So some uh, ranches and stuff out this direction. Let's see about the farm fields. So zombies will be moving for quite a while after the helicopter event. Following the sound, I did increase the distance that zombies will follow the sound in our sandbox settings. Try and avoid as much damage to the car as possible. Not hearing the helicopter come back, so we might be alright. Just a matter of us finding our way back. Uh, let's take this turn. It's at least going back in the direction we want. May end up just doing a big loop to get back home. I don't have any food in here. What are, what are these? I don't know. Helicopter's coming back one more time. Uh, we got our weapon bag. And crafting bag, so no food. Uh, there is a home down here. I see a mailbox. Let's turn off the car here. And we'll just fast forward time, wait for this helicopter to pass by. Oh. Oh. We have an interest in parking. 4 p.m. It's been going for at least five hours, probably five, six hours. If we're unlucky, uh, there could still be uh, six hours to go. I hope the first event is not that long, though. This part of the map isn't all that remote. There are quite a few farmhouses for zombies to spawn at. So. Usually when you're out in the country, you can just kind of pull over and uh, let it pass. Uh, we're down uh, not quite to a three-quarter tank. So I don't think we have to worry about running out of gas today. Oh, no, I do have some ships on us. Pulling them back to the right. So that's, that's good. We have a little bit of food. Zombies coming up behind us. No, oh, and it's passing by again. Alright. Let's shut around. And let's fast forward again here. Oh god. That's a pretty big group coming. 4.40 p.m. Can't say for sure where we are. I think we're... This might be the road... Oh, yeah, we got dead bodies on our road here. So we are heading back towards Rosewood now. But look at that. That's a lot of zombies. That is quite a disturbing sight.
At least it was pulling the zombies away from town. If anything. I hope this is done. I don't want to get back into town and then have the helicopter return. 5 p.m. We're going to pull into town, though. We're going to risk it. Quite a few zombies. Oh, my God. Around here to clear out. Uh, let's just pull this car over. We'll point the nose out. In case we do need to get back in and make a getaway. We're under our carry capacity, which is good. Uh, I don't think I'll be using my crowbar. So let's put that in the bag. And we'll just start clearing these zombies out. Don't have much other choices, many other choices here. Besides taking some pills and getting to work. Alright, so we are currently at 558 kills. Let's see what we're at by the end of the episode. And we're gonna need to dig a lot of graves out here. All these corpses. Another big hiking bag. I will take that. I feel like with the amount of luck of finding items on zombies, that's only uh that's very low condition. Uh, we're bound to find a axe sooner or later on a, on a corpse. There's just been so much stuff we found on corpses so far. RNG has been fairly kind to us. Just a few more right here at the gas station. We'll see if any have actually gone inside. Hopefully not. Kind of liked not having many broken windows in our place. The aesthetic was nice. It may look like a bomb went off now, I don't know. Alright, we definitely have some inside. Or thumping somewhere. Just on the bathrooms. Oh god. Oh no, that's a scratch. I did not see that one. I thought there was just the ones over here. Alright, let's back off. We'll do our bandaging. It's just a scratch, not bleeding. Uh, so let's just bandage that quickly. Hopefully, we'll be alright. Hopefully we have not used up all our luck. Uh, with finding loot. Hopefully we can survive our first scratch. Yeah, I did not see that other uh, zombie there. There's actually a lot more zombies at the bathrooms than I anticipated. Well, let's keep that open. Drag these through the trees. Try and spread them out a bit. There are a lot of zombies around here. Oh my lord. Two more down. <laughs> Two more down. A hundred to go. Uh, let's keep them on this side. Before we start attracting more groups. We can take them across the highway if we need to. So 
slowly pick him off. Still at slight damage. Uh, it's probably not going to go up until we do eat. this grouping of trees again. We should be able to lose the attention of some. I hope. After we get through this, we're going to need to make sure we have some food in the car. There will be future helicopter events. There goes uh, our kitchen knife. Let's grab our screwdriver. One of our several screwdrivers on us. That's one good thing as we have no shortage of weapons right now. Grab these next few. Base fortifications will need to wait. Might be able to get this out today. Helicopter event definitely over though. It's been a couple hours since the last flyby. We may not know about this scratch for a day at the most. Looks like most of the windows are still intact. There's the one broken one here, but I think that was broken from before. So we can actually get our health up to okay status, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we're in the clear anymore. Used to be the case. Not quite so anymore though. Okay, we have a moment. We should probably take this time to grab some food. Uh, where is our food bag? I have not emptied out much. Did I put any food in here? I did put some. It's all stuff we gotta cook up though. Oh no, here we go. All of our chips. And a cupcake. Probably another bag of chips too. So we're up to okay body status. Again, that doesn't necessarily mean we're in the clear. We are gonna have to give it some time. Pull these ones down to the lawn here. Again, trying to keep this area as free of zombie corpses as possible. And we might be able to bring out our, uh, our blunt weapon, you know? Uh, where is our crowbar? Let's unpack that. When they fall down, we can finish them off with the crowbar. Continue to get some blunt weapon experience. And it looks like our beta blocker wore off, so we'll pop another pill here. And work our way down to the next group. So with the helicopter events set to sometimes, oh, we might have to refer back to uh, some of those videos in the last long playthrough where we were tracking all that stuff. I feel like it was every couple weeks though, a helicopter would come through every two, three weeks on average. Sometimes sooner, sometimes later. So at least with this one happening now, we know for sure we have at least a week where we can uh, get some stuff done around uh, the gas station. 8.50 p.m. We want to take care of as many of these zombies in the immediate vicinity before nightfall. I would just sleep a lot better knowing 
We're not going to be ambushed or swarmed in our sleep. And the fewer groups around the gas station, the better. Continue sporadically checking bodies. Alright, so the front on this side is looking better. Let's take out this group here. Oh, that crawler. Fall back. No, let's not go for that guy, but uh, they all look like they're pretty fast. Definitely faster. Get a few stomps in here. There we go. And is that the crawler from the road? I think so. I see a conspicuous blood pile pool there. A pile of blood? Not really. No, it's. More like a pool. Our bandage is dirty. We'll have to change that out here. Uh, I'll probably disinfect or use one of our dis. I don't know. Have we disinfected any bandages yet? I think we have. Let's get our crowbar out here. There we go. Okay, let's dive into our bag here. Uh, where is our first aid kit? Let's get that. On the ground here, we will disinfect all our bandages. Okay, we'll put our disinfectant back in. That one's almost empty. Uh, that water bottle is empty. Let's remove our dirty bandage. Bandage with the sterilized bandage. this. Uh, actually, let's just clean that up quickly. Put those back in our backpack. And let's put that away. Alright. Oh, let's not forget our first aid kit. Too heavy now for our bag. Back out to the screwdriver. We'll do one more loop around this side. Clearing out the remaining zombies on the north side of the gas station. That wasn't fast enough with the crowbar. through these woods. This is where we were rounding up all the zombies with. I think the rest of them should be taken care of now. It was good to see that the wound wasn't infected right away. Didn't have time to get that uh, sterilized bandage on. Which should also help in the healing process. You know what? We could take one of our Antibiotics here. Fights wound infections. We might as well. Not take a chance on our first scratch. And we'll swing around the back. We'll see how many zombies are in play out here. Might as well take him out. Coming up around 11 p.m. Cat eyes are definitely helping us see a little bit better. Of course, if it's a clear night, that will help as well. And I think if it's a full moon, 
Like there are moon phases, so it's a full moon that would definitely aid us. All right, we have a, a fairly large group here. Um, that is kind of close to the gas station. I'd like to get them out of there. Let's make sure these ones right up against the building are taken care of. This screwdriver may be breaking soon. I might want to take out another one. Just as a fail safe. One of our four other screwdrivers in our bag. Are you on the outside or the inside? Definitely on the outside. And there was one more that walked over this way. Back on the bathroom. Two. And they did break through one of the doors. And we have another group here. Oh, jeez. That is a big group. All right, can we grab some of their attention? I don't want to get them all. We may have to have bodies on the uh, pavement here. Uh, the good thing with it being dark is they should lose us a little bit faster. There goes that screwdriver. I'm gonna close our health window. I think we're okay for a little while. It's not a bleeding wound, so we shouldn't have to change it all too frequently. Uh, we will drag them down this way if we need to. Alright, let's try and pull these few here. That was a long death groan. Oh my god. She definitely should have bit us there. Alright, not more than that. Four is fine. We can handle that. We're now getting to that point where it's a little... A little bit too dark, for my liking. I suppose we could da uh, put down our secondary, get out our flashlight. Although I'm not sure if that's going to attract more zombies to us. Take another beta blocker here. Uh, screwdriver is broken. We can still use it to dismantle though. Not that important though, because we have several backups. Okay. Another five. Uh, yeah, this seems like there's a few faster ones there. Oh, and we have some out in the woods here. Yeah, another group. Circle back around. They've all moved back into the group. I have a feeling we're going to be up kind of late tonight. We'll start getting light out again around 3 a.m. We're almost at 1. So we'll be getting to the darkest part of the night here. We need to protect the homestead.
In our 28 day challenge, we had zombies. Didn't we have zombies set to uh, poor sight? That was interesting. Poor sight and uh, very good hearing. Pinpoint hearing, I think it was. So they could hear. Usually they don't react that much to uh, us stabbing the zombies. Like, usually that's a pretty fail-safe, quiet way to go about clearing out the undead hordes. But with pinpoint hearing, they could hear everything. They could hear us stab. They could hear us removing glass from a broken window from a long distance away. This faster one to get to us first. Alright. I think she came out of the building. Oh, some 9 mil ammo there. I want that. We'll start using our silence pistol uh, in the next episode or two. Probably when we're uh, out clearing homes. I would think. Alright, that's far enough away, I think, for me. Uh, that one's a little concerning. This one, obviously, uh, concerning as well. Given how close they are. This one, we could probably be... Oh, man. There are some decent-sized groups. Up until the helicopter event, the zombies were fairly spread out. It was taking them a while to group up. But with that helicopter event, got everyone moving. Everyone found their little clicks. And are now grouped up a lot uh, more frequently. Alright, we're in another panic. And we got everyone coming towards us. It's all right down here, though. This must be the group that was down here. They moved up. <laughs> 2 a.m. Whole day spent invading and killing zombies. And we have another skill point into our blade guard. Acquired. For those of you just joining this series, we do have boosts to all of our blade skills, all of our blunt skills from our character build. So we have 75% boost, 75% boost, 100% boost to maintenance, and then the same for our blunt weapons. So that's why we're leveling this up pretty quick. I mean, relatively speaking, we're only just over a week in. And those are some, a lot higher stats than I would ever have uh, in other playthroughs at this stage. And really, for blunt weapons in any playthrough. When you have little groups of two, if you can get that one push on the first guy, get them moved back a bit, gives you a little bit extra room to stab the follow-up. Makes it a little bit faster when clearing out groups like this. Word to the wise. Alright, there's that group taken care of. Alright, we are up to 684 kills. So we've killed about 100 here tonight. About halfway through the episode. Maybe a little bit over half. And you know what? I think... Oh, there's that group there. Should we do one more group? Is that greedy? We're not tired yet. 
Let's do one more group. I mean, there's a good 30 in here. I think? No, not maybe not 30. Maybe 20. <laughs> oh, there's a... What is it? I'm not sure if it's a SNL uh, skit, an old one, or um, it's a Mad TV. I think it was Christopher Walken. Uh, he like lives in an apartment, and there's a census uh, person coming around, asking him questions about like how many people live in uh, the apartment. And he just has no. He is not good with numbers, I'm guessing at all. <laughs> it's like how many people live here? Oh, 30, 40 people. <laughs> really? 30, 40 people live in this apartment? Um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm not good with numbers. Why don't you count them out for me? Uh, there's me, my dog. Goldfish. I got some candy bar wrappers in the drawer. <laughs> so, so just you? Yeah, I guess just me. I really overestimated with the 30 or 40. I don't know. I probably just butchered the bit, but... Uh, we're in a panic again. These do not last very long. I have to look up that Christopher Walken bit. Must be an SNL skit. Alright. Uh, we didn't quite clear out half, but close. We probably could get away with sleeping. Probably far enough away. But we're, we're moving fairly quickly through them, so we'll just continue. You're doing pretty good. Right, there goes that one. Time to get another screwdriver out. Gone for two screwdrivers and a kitchen knife today. And it looks like there's, yeah, these two are fast ones. Just pull her through a tree. Of time without seeing anything on a corpse. Now we're a little bit tired. So this is where it starts getting a little bit more dangerous being out at night. Vision starts to get affected. Things start to zoom out a lot faster. Oh, and I think we got the attention of the leader. Or we just got too close to the group. Got some stragglers down there. Let's not get their attention. I'm gonna have to get up to these trees though. It's more than I want to take on all at once. sooner we get a wall up around this gas station the better I'd feel a lot better with a, a log wall at the very least <laughs> 450 I thought it would be getting lighter by now I suppose it is slowly but still quite a bit of darkness out there It's fairly warm, 10.3 degrees Celsius. We are, of course, on the tail end of spring. Or maybe this is mid-spring. The game. Oh, 
Okay. I believe I am satisfied with that. Let's just go around to the front. Make sure there's no one else that has wandered in. Yeah, we look okay. So let's get up. We'll get some sleep. Uh, we need to get a door on that. A little risky just having that open. And I kind of want to have an alarm. I don't want to sleep till like afternoon. Uh, let's get some food. I believe we're still gaining weight. Yeah, we're up to 65 kilograms now. Let's have half of this ice cream just so we're not going to bed hungry um, I'm gonna drop off this shotgun there's that drop off the shotgun and the fishing rod for now lighten the load a little bit there we go we're not carrying a, any heavy weight uh, let's set our alarm Four. Oh, starting to get misty outside. Uh, let's see here. It's 5.40 a.m. If we sleep until maybe 1.30, that should be fine. We're not that tired, so let's do that, and we will sleep. And we didn't even have to sleep that long. We're up uh, before noon. So let's just turn this alarm off so it doesn't screw up our day. Go down, we'll do some more clearing. Uh, the fog has cleared. There's a little bit left. It's mostly cleared though. Get some water. It's nice having the bathrooms right next door. It means we'll have fresh water for a fair amount of time. Uh, there is no bathroom on the main floor here, just outside, so. Keep that in mind. But each bathroom, two sinks, two toilets, and two urinals. Now the women's probably doesn't have the urinals. Yeah, three toilets. So that's quite a few water draws left to us. And we have actually the bathroom upstairs in our place too, so. Okay, how are our skills coming along here? Blunt accuracy is actually close to leveling up to level three. Sprinting, very close to going to level one. And nimble, level one around the corner there as well. Let's see here. There are still a lot around here. Let's work on these ones. They're a little bit more spread out. This is the culling episode. Probably the first of many. One of the mods we have enabled for this playthrough is the Wilderness Zed mod. That increases the uh, spawning of zombies out in the wilderness. Any of you who watched our last hardcore playthrough know that we spent the better part of a year out in the wilderness pretty much uh, undisturbed. So this mod is to remedy that type of situation, make things a little bit more difficult. It is the, uh, what is it called, the revised uh, version of the mod, so I think it's a little bit less zombies than the uh, original mod, but it still does increase uh, zombie spawn, 
You have like the occasional horde out in the middle of nowhere. And the panic. The panic again. Alright, let's use the blunt weapon for a little bit here. We'll kill these two zombies and have a little bit of melted ice cream. Try and get our blunt skill leveled up here. Smash, push. There we go. How close are we now? 281 of 300. We will get there today. Some zombies moving around looking for a new group, probably. Unless they heard something. Still getting used to the reach on this crowbar it is not as far as the baseball bat but the crowbar does last pretty long durability wise so I do like that Is our skill points. Blunt accuracy. So we should be getting slightly better hits. I know I said I was going to eat that ice cream, but uh, we just keep getting more zombies coming. Continuing to use the uh, crowbar while they're on the ground just to continue getting those um, XP points into blunt accuracy. So I think every time you hit a zombie, there's a chance to get XP. Every time your weapon loses durability, there's a chance to get uh, uh, maintenance. Is my understanding. Uh, I might want the uh, screwdriver for these ones. And then guard. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how guard gets leveled up. But as far as I know, it helps you, like when you have, uh, if you have like high blade guard, when you have a blade weapon equipped, less chance of you being scratched or bitten. These groups are big. I turned up the uh, the rally size a little bit in the sandbox options. Not crazy more. I think it's maybe only like five more zombies per group. I mean, it's like 25 instead of 20. Something like that. Bodies again. So I promise we'll be doing other stuff in the next episode. We won't just be killing zombies constantly day in day out. Although that might be what I do in between episodes. As always though, I'll try and uh, provide some variety for you guys in the content every episode today just so happened to be a slaughter day okay how many have we killed today
about 150, 160. to go pretty far in the field this direction to find any so that's nice head up towards the highway maybe use the crowbar again I like it just trying to secure an area of peacefulness around the gas station. This side looks really good. It's just town side. It's a little, a little congested. Let's take a look out at the front. Oh, we do have some zombies here. I think cleaning up the zombie corpses uh, will be a long-term goal, long-term task. Just given how many there are around here. Oh, we are a little bit tired now. Okay, so back out to the knife. Pull them around the edge. That should spread them out a little bit. Back to the panic. Probably only have one or two pills left in this bottle. Thought about bringing out the crowbar there, but not enough time for that. Still only the one broken window. held up well all right well we are going to end this episode here because i could go on and on and on and uh we'd probably be killing zombies for the next hour thanks a lot for watching today's episode uh, we got our first helicopter event out of the way we got uh, a lot of skills here from killing all those zombies uh, we will definitely be leveling up our agility skills in the next episode or two all four of those are on the cusp of leveling up and yeah blunt blade weapons coming along nicely I should be able to get to level 2 carpentry uh, by barricading windows here let me know what you think down below in the comments hit that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel stick around for more project zomboid and until next time I'll talk to you all later